As we move into designing in 3D, one of the things we need to kind of understand is how the extrude tool works and how extruding different faces can interact with each other. So I'm just going to show an example real quick. So first I'm going to make just a little block. So we'll always start sketch, click on the plane I want to draw on. I'm just going to draw a random rectangle. So right here is a two-dimensional rectangle. To make it three-dimensional, I just use the extrude tool. And let's just bring it up a little bit and hit OK. So now I have a three-dimensional block. Anything I want to do from now on, I can do to this block with the Start Sketch button. So if I wanted to draw on this side right here, I hit the Start Sketch. Now, before I click again, you see these three faces, they highlighted wherever I am. What it is saying is if I want to draw up top here, if I want to draw on the side here, if I want to draw on this face right here. So I'm going to click on that face, and let's just put an A. Let's make my A a little bit bigger. So if I want to extrude it, first I have to finish my sketch. So now I have this A on the side right here. So when I use the extrude, if I click, next I have to click what I want to extrude. So I'm going to click my letter right here. And so I have these three different options. Join right here. So join is if I want to bring that out into 3D, if I want to add it. So let's undo that. Cut. Cut's if I want to take away that material. So if I want to cut a hole, so I can bring it in just a little bit right here. Hit OK. So now you see that's inside there. I can also cut all the way through. So if I click this, you know, I can change my dimension here. But also if I click here and just click All, it's going to cut all the way through to that back side. So now it's going all the way through. And then the last one, the third one, is the one we're going to be using on the boats, which you might not be familiar with, is this intersect. So I'm going to click my letter, and I'm going to click the intersect button. And what this is going to do is it's going to remove everything but that letter. So we'll do my distance all, all the way to the back, hit OK. So now I just have an A from that original block. So that's all well and good, but now we want to get creative with that. So if I draw something over here on this side, so let's put uh, 1, 2, 3. Let's make that bigger. Done. So move that down a bit. All right, so now I've got A on one side, one, two, three on the other. Finish my sketch. So now I can extrude my A. And if I use that join, change my distance to all, it's going to go all the way through the back. I still have my one, two, three right there. So now I can do fun things in 3D where if I take my extrusion here, let's say I cut and I cut all the way through. So now I have an A on the side and a 1, 2, 3 over here. Or if I wanted to use that intersect. So now I have my A over here. And my one, two, three over here. So that right there looks kind of silly, but where that comes into play, I made this little quick drawing right here with a whole bunch of arcs and lines. If I extrude that one, I can go out with the join, I can go in with the cut, or I can use the intersect. I can extrude this side here. 
when I do that, I've got this adorable bunny. So that's what we're going to do with our boat. So just like this bunny here where I have my front drawing, my side drawing, and then with our boat we're going to have our top drawing. So we're going to draw all three of those, which we should have already drawn on our rough sketch on a piece of paper. We're going to put that into Inventor, and then we're just going to use that extrusion tool to make the boat, and then make it look snazzy.